rebuild. Somebody is rebuilding their life. I heard someone is no longer in the, um, in the energy of, of, of trying to just survive. Now it's time to live. One to six, break it down to a seven. There's the completion. Something is ending. I'm hearing people try to block you. But I'm hearing it, the spirit is saying, it doesn't matter, keep going. It doesn't matter, keep going. Everyone got an opinion on you, but spirit is saying, and none of it matters. Yeah, none of it matters. Yeah, somebody is somebody is actually doing something very different this time. And whatever you rebuild it, you see how this woman is holding her heart? It's coming from a heart space. It's coming from a heart space. I'm hearing you working hard. Something that you're doing it, um, it's about to it's gonna take you to a next level. Because I just feel like it, and it's going to manifest beautifully because the way how this woman is holding her hand on this on, on her heart, you doing something from the heart space. That's love. I'm hearing do it with passion or, or don't do it at all. Yeah. I'm hearing whatever this is, you're going to win at it. Base chakra. Something that you're disciplined in doing. Something that you're starting from scratch. Yeah, something that you're building from scratch, from the root up. What's this rebuild, Holy Spirit? Some of you guys are rebuilding your heart. Mm -mm. Some of you guys have been hurt. You know, hurt. For some of you guys, you've been hurt for a while. You're going through a lot of heartbreak. But something about your heart is being rebuilt. One to six, break it down to a seven. If you if you went through any pain, any heartache, that is over with. There's a completion with that. Yeah. Somebody is about to... <laughs> something about your life is about to change where you're no longer going to just be existing. You're no longer just going to be surviving. You're going to be living. Yeah, share the love. Share the love. Somebody want to share some love with you. Yes, clarity and uh, clarity of belief. And if you see this butterfly that's being here, something is changing. I'm hearing if you missed the opportunity, if you felt like you missed the opportunity before, you're about to um, get a chance to go at it again. Give me more Holy Spirit. Thank you. Reach out. Yeah. Spirit is saying reach out for support. Now, if you feel like um, reach out for support, if you feel like you don't actually have anyone in the physical, this can just be, you know, your angels, you know, your spirit team, God, um, your ancestors, you know, um, this could you just, just, just you going out in nature, son, see, just you going out in nature, nature, you know, speaking to the trees, speaking to the, the, you know, looking up at the sky, you know, just speaking and asking for clarity, you know, asking, um, for answers. And then out of nowhere, whether it's through music, whether it's through signs, um, billboards, um, you could be walking past someone out in nature and you just hear them saying something, you're like, boom. Like, you just know that down, you know, you just know that that was for you. You don't, reaching out, like I said, if you don't have um, nobody in the physical, it's plenty of ways where you can reach out. And the divine, because you guys are so connected with the divine, it's like the divine is never going to leave you out here like the struck where you don't, you don't know, you know, um, you don't have the answers, you know, just leave you lost. If you seek, you shall find, Okay. Also, we're reaching out. Um, you can have support. It could be support with people on YouTube. Um, you know, any you know 
Um, support could come from, you know, everybody's support system is different. You know, for others of you guys, you do have support from, um, you know, multiple people where you can um, reach out and contact that has been a great support system for you. You know, that'll help you. Um, yeah. I also um, feel like somebody is about to reach out and help and assist you, okay? Um, maybe you felt like you were alone because I'm looking at this woman and she's sitting on this these these hands. It's one, two, three, four. It's like four different people are going to reach out and help you, okay? It's giving like, because this woman just sitting on one hand, but it's look like Whoever's gonna reach out and help you, it's feel like it's gonna come. It's gonna come from this way, that way. Like if you felt like you was by yourself, you didn't have any support system, something is changing. Something in your life is being rebuilt. Okay? Yeah, somebody is getting a, 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 a new opportunity. Yeah. Something that somebody felt that was lost at one time is now being rebuilt. It's like you getting a, you getting another chance. Something about your heart is, 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 is being renewed, is being healed. Yeah. You about, people about to reach out and help you and assist you in ways that you, you know, you just, you didn't see possible. Spirit is saying, shine. It's time for you to shine. How dare you keep all of that light to yourself, Sunsees? <laughs> How dare you do that? Shine. Shine your light. Okay. Yeah, somebody is about to be shining, and everybody's gonna see it. Everybody's gonna see this change in you with this rebuild. Everybody's gonna see this change in you. You know. Mhm. Mm I feel like a lot of people are gonna want to work with you too. One and nine break it down to a ten. So you definitely ended out some type of um. Some type of cycle. You definitely close out a cycle. And now you now whatever this new beginning is, because you know anything after the 10 is a one, is a new beginning, is a new start. Uh, whatever this new beginning is for you now, it's like you're gonna be shining. People are going to see the difference in you. Yes, under the bottom, success and growth. People are going to see this success, this growth on you, this shine, but it's coming from the heart. You know, you know, whatever's in the inside, whatever's in the inside is definitely going to reflect the outer. People are going to see, people are going to see this, this, this glow on you, the, you know, this beauty on you, this, this shine on you because something happening with the heart, success and growth. If somebody was stuck, they're not going to be stuck anymore. I feel like... Somebody, if somebody felt like they were, like, if you did feel like you were stuck or you did feel like, you know, you was going through a lot, you, somebody is, you know, no shade, so I see 10, 10, I just said, I know where I'm going with this. Somebody is no longer making excuses. They're doing something about it. Yeah. I'm hearing, uh, you know, things went wrong in your life. And, and for some of you guys, it all, it all went wrong at one time. But somebody is, is somebody is choosing not to be weak. Somebody is choosing not to just, you know, just to give up. Somebody is, is choosing to, yeah, flow. Ten ten. I'm hearing some things in your life didn't go right. But uh, <clears throat> but that's not the end. That's not the end. Yeah, I just heard that is not it for you. Yeah, somebody is not quitting. Somebody, something about somebody's heart. Somebody could be manifesting as well, because you know, man, you know, love is the highest vibration of all. You know, when you manifest from the heart space, things come in, come in just like that. Somebody, you know, people could have been trying to hurt you to block your heart chakra. Maybe somebody wanted to block your heart chakra because they didn't want you to like manifest or or or, or get some type of level up with the success and growth. It could have been people purposely doing this to you from all different directions because they didn't want to see you shine. They didn't want to see you be successful. 
Boom. But something is changing. Yeah, look under the bottom. I can't make it up. Well-deserved reward. Whatever these rewards are, Spirit is saying, you, you are well deserved. 12 12. You are well deserved of it. Okay? Someone is not making any excuses. Someone is keep is just like continue to go. Somebody knows that people in all different directions is trying to stop them, block them, or hinder them because they don't want to see them shine. They don't want to see them be successful. They don't want to see them grow. But if study someone, you know, um, giving that their attention and their focus, somebody is just working on finding new ways to rebuild themselves. Somebody wants you to give up, but you're not. You're getting up. Every time they want you to give up, you get up. You get up. You get up. You get up. Look how this man is just standing on this thing. On, like, look how he's standing on like this. This could be a building. All these statues. It's like every time they want to sit you down, you get up. Look at this man with his hands behind his back. Standing up. Yes, yeah, Spirit says spread your wings. Spread your wings. And I told you, Sun Seeds, nature. Something about nature. Yes, what did I tell you, Sun Seeds? Nature and throat chakra. Some of you guys, you know, you, you have support all around you to keep moving forward. A lot of you guys, you you going you definitely get your downloads through nature. You're not pointing fingers. You're not blaming anyone. Mm mm. Yeah. Somebody wants you to like get in. This, it's giving like pity and you know this victim mentality. Like, oh, why me? Why me? Why not me? <laughs> <laughs> Why not me? Why not me? <laughs> I'm hearing it's okay. It's okay. If you felt darkness or if you felt blocked or if you felt like you was in a dark time in your life or, you know, you felt devastated about something, I'm hearing it's okay. It's okay. Acknowledge the feeling. Acknowledge the darkness that you felt. Acknowledge that. As long as you don't quit, it's okay. So I see? I'm hearing there was times where you was weak. You was tired. You felt like if you didn't get up, you would lose. I'm hearing you still got up and made a difference. Yeah, I heard people not going to like that. But who cares? Who cares? Yeah, I feel like people see how powerful you were just by yourself. And you had, it could have been up, it could have been four people, could be a group of people. That was just coming for you. All different directions trying to attack this person who's shining. With shine to cess and grow and spread your wings. Ooh. I'm hearing people was throwing stones at you. They was laughing at you trying to knock you down. I heard Spirit just say, you need to make it happen. Okay. Listen, with this challenging times that I just see, listen, you got to keep going, son, see, life, life is a marathon, you hear me? Okay? You got to keep going, period. And that's what someone is doing. Give me more Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yes, look at this. Leadership, the, create, the creativeness of do what you... Do what you want to do. And Leo, a lot of you guys are leaders. Okay? A lot of you guys are leaders. There's a leadership role that's that's being granted to, to you. Or a lot of you guys, you know, you just naturally born leaders. You've been leaders. We have in the fourth house, do what makes you feel secure. Your home base or your family. Yeah, something, 
something about your environment, something that you learn, okay? I'm hearing it's your heart, baby. I'm hearing you don't cry, you don't give up. Yeah. I'm hearing you kept hunting and hunting until you found what you was looking for. Yeah, you kept hunting. I'm hearing you kept hunting and hunting until you found what you was looking for. And the whole time it was in the heart. It was here. You realize this is what they wanted. They wanted this. They wanted to block this heart off. They wanted to block this heart chakra for you. Yeah. Something about your relationships. The beauty, do it with your partners and, and Libra. Somebody could be a Leo or a Libra or have these in their chart. But something about, be, um, you know, your beauty, you shine. And I'm hearing you own that shit. You own that. <laughs> okay? A lot of people love you, you know? It might be some people who don't like you, who don't want to see you to see you. But there's a lot of people that love you too. Okay? Yeah. Give me more Holy Spirit. Give me more Holy Spirit. Thank you. The drive, the drive for the confronting of action, Mars. Yeah. Someone is about to take action. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now, somebody could be definitely um, coming in to take action towards you. Somebody could find you very beautiful, very attractive. Um, somebody could be falling in love with you or just see you as, um, you know, like I said, um, very lovable. Mm -hmm. This could be somebody who's already in a leadership role. Somebody wants to invest their time with you, invest their time in you. Yeah. Somebody is about to be rewarded. Mm-hmm. In all areas of their life. Yep. Something, somebody is about to be rewarded. Yeah. Somebody's life is changing. Because their heart is changing. I'm hearing this time you're going to be able to do more with your life. I don't know how your life was before. I don't know if you felt stuck, stagnated, or you were just surviving but not living. I'm hearing you're going to be able to do more this time. Spread your wings. Whatever the success and growth is that's coming in, Spirit is saying it's well deserved. you're well deserving of it. I'm hearing it was hard, but Spirit is saying, you're, you're, you're seeing that something is worth it. There's somebody that's coming in, that's taking action, um, that's coming towards you. Okay? Give me more Holy Spirit. Someone could have even broke mentally, physically, or felt damaged um, spiritually, mentally. I'm hearing something's going to be your victory, though. Shine. I'm hearing whatever you're going through, you're going to beat it. Mm-hmm. Ascended Masters, powerful, loving, and wise spiritual oops. Why am I throat? Like, I feel like <laughs> powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. Integrity uh, and vacuum away fear. I'm looking at this shine card. And I just see this sun. 
But I'm looking at the blue down here. It was a lot of rain. But after the rain came the sun. It was a lot of rain, but it, you don't, you, it was a lot of rain, but the sun came. I'm hearing you fought your way through it with the help of your ascended masters. A lot of you guys have are ascended masters now. Something about your integrity, something about your um, integrity, your mor your morals, your values, you know, what you stand on, your beliefs. Someone could have definitely tried to project fear onto you. But Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael is here to lift, you know, whatever that fear-based energy is that's trying to, um, sur you know, um, surround itself around you. Yeah. Somebody wanted you to feel like um, that you couldn't do something. But it's giving heavy projection. That's what it's giving. Heavy projection. Give me more Holy Spirit. With this vacuum away fear, I feel like whatever you whatever you rebuilding, whatever you currently going through right now, that um you rebuilding in your life, you working on, do not get discouraged. Do not get discouraged. Keep going. Do not give up. Okay? Do not give up. That's what the enemy wants. Don't give up. Service. Don't give up. Keep working. Okay? That's what the enemy wants. I feel good. I feel good when I can help others. Yes, I feel good when I can help others. Love. Something about love. Something that you do from a, when you do it from a heart space, it just, oh, it's like beautiful things happen. I feel like uh, whoever you are, you committed to, you know, um, you committed to whatever you do. You committed, it's, you committed to seeing the good in all things. You know, even when it doesn't look like it. Yeah. I feel like with this leadership, you give off a lot of encouragement, a lot of possi um, possibilities, positivity. Yeah. Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Somebody is releasing doubt. You're not going to know all the answers. You're not. That's why where that card is. Did I put it back? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. But it said flow. Somebody needs to go with the flow. Okay? Yes. Embrace and teach. A lot of you guys are teachers. Okay? A lot of you guys who watch me are teachers. And you embracing it. A lot of you guys, that is your calling. You be you call to teach. Whether it's a school system, um, whether it's ooh, confirmation, whether it's your community. You know, wherever you led to, to teach. Yeah. You're trusting it. You're trusting it. Opportunities and beacons. Yes, there's so many opportunities that's being granted to you. I'm just hearing, yeah, choose your battles. No matter what happens, Sunsteeds, keep moving forward. And choose your battles wisely. You know? Wherever your attention goes, that's what grows. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, but this doubt, release the need to know all the answers. I'm, if, if it's something that you need to know that's really, really important, trust me, the going to make sure you get it. <laughs> okay? They going to make sure you get it. Yeah, peace. Peace. Yeah. Yeah, peace, loneliness, relationships. You are profoundly clairvoyant. Somebody who could have, you know, maybe you was alone. You know, maybe, I wouldn't even say alone. I would say single. Somebody was going from single to a relationship that brings them peace. Somebody is coming in to bring you some type of peace or help you. Okay. 
For a lot of you guys, you could be at peace with, with peace and loneliness. You could be at peace with oneself already. But whoever's coming in, they just going to add to your peace. Thank you, Spirit. Yes. Yes. I know that's right. Pop out, goddess. Pop out, goddess. Pop out, pop out, pop out. I already felt the energy, goddess. I knew you was here. My goddess is in a building. Yes. Goddess is in God. Indigo. The person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive, natural born leader. A lot of you guys are leaders. And a lot of you guys, y'all y'all be in position and getting ready. It's like y'all are getting ready. Y'all are getting ready. Spirit is getting y'all ready and positioning y'all into these leadership roles. Yes. Laws of attraction. Relationship and relationships and activities that you once enjoy are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. Relationships and activities around you, son, see, that you once enjoy, you, you some of you guys no longer have interest for that. 818, I just seen, okay? As you change, you, you know, things that you, you like, I mean, things that you used to like is changing, you know? Maybe the foods that you used to like, you don't like anymore. Maybe some of the things that you used to wear, you don't like to wear anymore. Maybe certain music that you used to listen to, you don't like to listen to anymore. You know? Yeah. If you was dealing with relationships with people where they wanted to come in and, and, and borrow, your, borrow your energy, um, um, borrow your peace, and then leave you by yourself, you know, feeling empty with they, with, with they got their energy. You're not doing that anymore. You're not doing that anymore. Somebody with these fairies, somebody is very angelic. I'm hearing in this season, you're holding people accountable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're holding people accountable for their actions. Yes, as you persevere, perseverance. I know I can do whatever I set my mind to. Somebody is saying this is enough. Somebody is taking charge of their life with this rebuild. Crystals, you're healing. Yeah, whatever this is, you're embracing this new journey, Sunseeds. Yes. Let's get you guys some more. And these cards don't even belong in this deck. Wow. Wow. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Eight of Swords. Something that you were manifesting, somebody was trying to, like, um, have you locked up and restricted. Um... Somebody with whoever you are, you're a queen of pentacles, someone who's um very grounded, down to earth, um, someone who's very generous, caring, um, you know, have this um you know, very um this business, you know, very good you know, business, good business mindset. Um a lot of you guys could be entrepreneurs, business owners, um, or just someone who, you know, who just, you know, who take care, you know, the family, you know. But Whoever you are, um, I just feel like you're a powerful manifester, you know? You're a powerful manifester. And with the Eight of Swords being here, I feel like somebody wanted to have you, like, trapped in your thoughts, okay? Um, isolate you or make you feel helpless or, like, you was a victim or, you know, had these negative thoughts. Somebody was trying to affect your manifestation so you wouldn't shine with the success and growth. Yeah. Because those three cards, I don't even have no, I don't even have the um, tarot deck out. And it, these spirit, I guess, you know, spirit wanted the, the Queen of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Swords. Something about a goal, something that you're trying to achieve. I'm hearing you have to go all in. You can't half-ass it. You got to be all in. Okay. And somebody could have definitely were trying to get you stuck. Something about the mind. Something about the mind. 
Let's get you guys so um so we have um eight and one on this card. So one and eight bring it down to a nine, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're closing out a cycle. You're closing out a cycle with manipulative energies, people that make you um that's trying to trap you up, make you feel stuck, okay, make you feel alone, okay. I'm hearing like very manipulative energies that want to come in and come in and borrow your energy, okay, <laughs> and leave you with their energy. Mm -mm. Someone is getting balanced. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody wanted you to quit. Somebody wanted you to quit. Yeah. But somebody realizing that they can't destroy you, they cannot defeat you. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Somebody is already halfway through. Why would you quit now? Spirit said, why would you quit now? You're already halfway through. Yeah. I'm hearing you fought too long. You fought too hard. I heard you unbreakable. <laughs> I'm brilliant. Okay, so I see. I'm like, what the hell is on my arm? Okay, um, you are brilliant. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker, and your angels ask that you share your knowledge for the benefit of others. So you guys have a special ability. That's what I'm saying. A lot of you guys are leaders. Okay, spirit is saying, I don't know what. Well, no matter what happens, spirit is just saying, keep going. Okay, keep going. Okay. Um, Spirit is saying you have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask to, your angels ask you to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. That's the way how you help people, Sunseeds. Yes, I am positive. I am intuitive. Yes, I am expressive. 11, 11, um, the number 11 and number 66. Six. But the number eleven says you have you have been seeking awareness of what is happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guide and supporter. A lot of you guys are teachers, okay? A lot of you guys are very intuitive. You're very tapped in. Six six. Your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desires. Somebody is manifesting a miracle. <laughs> Someone is manifesting a miracle. <laughs> okay. Yes. I'm hearing keep your thoughts positive. Okay. You're not trapped. You're not alone. It's just an illusion, okay? It's not real. Fear is not real, okay? <laughs> Sometimes you got to tell that boy, shut up. You're not in control. I'm in control, okay? I'm in control. Yeah. Yes, I'm in control. Number eight, I am successful. Your talent, your talent for setting, your talent for setting and reaching your goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieve, achieving your your ambitions. Eight represents the EBB and flow, the infinite loop of creation. I like that. Yes, I told you guys to be seeing ten ten. I am patient. Keep your thoughts positive and be patient as everything is working out for your highest good. Trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you. Mm. I'm hearing your gift is going to take you many places. As you work on your gifts and as you develop your gifts, um, it's going to take you places with the success and growth. 
Yeah. <clears throat> I am balanced. I'm hearing your faith. It, 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 it has been tested a lot. And that's not the end. You know, just, just stay positive. Okay? Let's get um, some more. Okay. All right, let's get some. Let's see. Let's see what else. Um, your spirit team wants you to in here. You know, no matter what goals you guys can see, you're going to have some differences. You're going to have some challenges, some obstacles. But, you know, you keep going. The moment that you cry yourself thinking negative or doing something negative, you stop yourself right there. Okay? Mm-mm. No. You're going to make it with the success and growth. Long as you believe that you are worthy of good things that can happen to you, you got it. Holy Spirit, give me some more messages. Tell yourself good things are supposed to happen to me. I know they are. Okay. Genealogy. Discovering your family ancestry can reveal fantastic connections to your identity. So some of you guys could be um, finding out about, you know, where you come from, um, your ancestors. Um, maybe you guys could be reaching out to your family or for ones who doesn't have that connection with your family. What's the other thing they got? Um, it said genealogy, discovering your family's ancestry can reveal fascinating connection to your identity um what's the the ancestry kits you know the ancestry kits yeah somebody is definitely um yeah that's a way you can figure out like you know where you come from your identity that is a beautiful way to connect you know with your ancestors because you need to know where you come from you know how your ancestors did things okay um visionary Take the time to consider and strategize for your future. Have confidence in your aspirations and ideas. That's all you need is confidence and in, 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 have confidence in whatever you do. But um, also believe, you know? Yeah, save your own. Ensure your people are kept safe. Even, even in the most difficult and dangerous circumstances. Yeah, a lot of you guys are like um, doctors, firefighters, police officers, uh, what they call it, EMTs. Like um, some of you guys can ride, you know, the ambulance. Like you help people. You make people feel safe. You rescue people. Yeah. And somebody can have like a really dangerous job. Really dangerous. Like, somebody can have a dangerous job. Like, you could put them in the most difficult, you know, circumstances, but this is this is, this is is part of their calling, is to help people. Just know that you're always protected by the most high. I'm hearing you're going to make it. Yeah, you're going to look shy. <laughs> you got shine out here twice. Somebody, I'm telling you, how dare you not shine this light, baby? You got shine out here twice. Let me read this card for you. You can gain attention through your appearance, behavior, or your performance. So something about your um, something about the way how you look, your appearance, um, your behavior, the way how you you know um, you act um, or perform is something that you do. It's going to bring in you a lot of attention. Give me more Holy Spirit. Give me more. What does the ancestors want them to know? Yes, the seer. I can't make it up. A lot of you guys are the seer. It is, is granted, I'm sorry, the seer is granted the gifts of seeing glimpse of the future through dreams and divination. This is you guys. A lot of you guys are seers. Yes. These are the gifts that your ancestors passed down to you. Okay. It's granted the gifts of seeing glimpse of the future through your dreams and divination. Yes. You guys could like playing cards or have ancestors that, you know, play some cards. Mm-hmm. A deck of cards. Yeah. That was a way of your ancestors, everybody getting together. 
cards, playing cards, bring people together, okay? Whether they was, you know, gambling or not, cards was a way of people getting together, cooking food, having a good old drink, you know, just hanging out. It says cards on the table. Maintain honesty and openness with others to, to foster truth and understanding in your relationships. I feel like that was a way for people to bond, to speak their truth, um, to be open with each other. It was like a, um, it was like a, um, how you say it? Um, it was a floor where you could just, you know, just be yourself, you know, hang out, have a good time. It's always a lot of truth that goes on around them card tables. People people don't never talk about how card tables is like, you know how you know how the girl you walk in a salon or you walk in a barbershop? They don't never talk about what, what, what goes down at the card tables. Ooh, the stuff you hear at them card tables, yeah. Mm-hmm. They don't just imagine what your ancestors were talking about at them card tables. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Give me more, Holy Spirit. Anything else? Anything else you want to collect at the night? One more, one more. One more. Okay. So we have auntie and twins. Wow. Wow. Auntie. You can have an aunt. That's your ancestor. Aunts are often unconditional, loving, and supportive. Twins. Twins are often considered as a symbol of love and affection and are believed to pose as supernatural blessings. Someone can have an aunt that's an ancestor and she's a twin. She's always here. She's always guiding you. There's an aunt Somebody has an aunt that's a twin that's guiding you. Mm-hmm. That's guiding you. She's going to make sure you shine. <laughs> we have brown liquor. Okay, so somebody ancestors that like brown liquor. It says spirits, spirit, spirits such as whiskey, cognac, and rum are used to celebrate successes. Honor ancestors and bring people together. So... You know, um, that's how your ancestors used to, you know, celebrate and, you know, when it comes to success and honoring each other and bringing people together, they used to get some whiskey, some cognac, and some rum. <laughs> I just see 444. You guys are so much protected, so I see you. Let me get you guys some more messages before we close this out. Yeah, y'all are so love, love with fertility. I'm telling you. Someone is birthing something. For some of you guys, you could be um, pregnant. Congratulations. Or some of you guys will be pregnant. Congratulations. I feel like, I'm telling you, whoever this, this person is that's coming into your life that's about to take action, some of you guys, listen, if you ain't thinking about having no kids, you better protect yourself because you guys are fertile at this time. Yeah. I, ooh, chat. Somebody also going to have twins. Wow. Wow, look at this. Um, somebody gonna get pregnant with twins. Yeah, somebody gonna get somebody gonna get pregnant with twins. Somebody could be already right now pregnant with twins. Congratulations. Yes, progress. <laughs> I'm hearing it. Oh wow, it's coming in, baby. Wow. Wow. Give me more Holy Spirit. Give me more, please, and thank you. Wow, look at this. Intuition will guide you. Some of you guys are so intuitive. You are so tapped in, okay? You guys are definitely seers. And it says knowledge. Archangel Ron Brazel. You guys still have so much wisdom and knowledge. Yeah. It's giving like an old soul, like a hermit. Oh, wow. It's like, you don't, somebody got so much, oh, I heard that old oh, I ain't going to tell you what I heard. That old dirt wisdom. So you could be, it doesn't matter what age you is, you got an old soul. Somebody could have been forced to grow up quicker, um, you know, um, due to their circumstances. 
Somebody got an old soul, and they had an old soul since they was very young. Somebody was forced to grow up at an early age. Um, older people could have raised you. You could have had older friends, older people you dated. An older person could have raised you. Somebody is is somebody um also also I heard I heard old is dirt. Old is dirt. Something about your you got that old knowledge, baby. <laughs> Give me more all the spirit. One more. One more before we close this out for the beautiful collector sunset. Completion. Completion. Congratulations on ending the cycle. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Transition. Someone went through a transition. Beginning. A new adventure awaits. You could be seeing the number zero zero and nine nine. But you're about to get it says peace at the chocos. Yeah. Someone is manifesting. That's that Queen of Pentacles and Magician to the Eight of Swords. Be mindful of your doors. Queen of Pentacles and Magician to the Eight of Swords. Be mindful of your doors because you're a powerful manifester. I said that. Someone is manifesting. Yes. Someone definitely have ascended. Congratulations. Okay. You got to train your mind to serve you for your highest good. Okay. Stay grounded. You have definitely ascended. I love you so very much, Sunsteeds. I hope this reading was able to help you guys, give you guys clarity, um, you know, on your journey. I love you guys so, so very much, Sunsteeds, okay? Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box, okay? Sunsteeds, things are not going to get easy, okay? I'm just going to be honest with you. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it, Okay? You know, I feel like whoever you are, you're going to change whatever situation you're in. You're going to change it around for your highest good. Okay? And don't get discouraged. You might wake up one day and you might be feeling strong. You might be having this energy that you feel like you at your best. <laughs> and then tomorrow you might not feel like that. That's okay, Sunsteeds. Be okay with, with, with things being like that, okay? Be okay. Just don't get discouraged. That's all. Just don't get discouraged, okay? Yeah. I love you guys so very much. Again, Sunsteeds, until we get up next time. <laughs> Later, Sunsteeds.